<laughs> that was my daughter saying goodbye because she's sick of fixing my bike. So, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to Bike Hub Japan. So I'm having, I'm having dramas, a lot of dramas. Like lately, I've had a lot of luck, all a bit bad. So I'm having technology dramas and I'm having bike dramas. So the first thing is my GoPro Hero 8, for some reason, stops recording video at about one minute 30 every time. Carries on recording audio, but no video. So I've lost a lot of really awesome riding videos because it just didn't capture the video which sucks ball. Now, next thing is the bike. So I've got her outside up on the rear paddock stand ready to do some work but if you can see here there's an oil leak fork oil so the seal only on the left leg has gone so I need to replace that and basically when when stuff like that happens to my bike I tend to sort of like lose faith and get a bit disappointed and I've been telling myself oh, I'm just gonna fix it and then get rid of it because it's also really uncomfortable but let's have a look here the reason it's so uncomfortable is because I'm six foot three and these rear sets are at the, the most that they can be extended. And me being a dummy, I didn't realize that these are adapters to push them further back. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to whip off the adapter and just move the actual footrests to this position so it'll bring them more forward and lower. And hopefully that will help me because It'll be hard to show you, but when I sit on the bike, it's comfortable around town and stuff when you're just riding slowly. But as soon as you hit the mountains and you're like hanging off the bike, getting your knee down or whatever, it causes me massive, massive muscle pain. So the other day I did about 300 Ks on the bike on Tuesday. And on Wednesday, all day, my legs were killing me. And it's just because of the riding position. So I'm going to adjust those now. Hopefully that solves that. And then when it comes to the forks, I'm going to have to basically just order the parts. But right now, because I'm on the dole and I've got no money, it's going to take a while to do it. So I'm just going to have to try and find some odd jobs to get some cash to do it. But first job today is let's just whip off these rear sets, get rid of those adapters and uh, see if that makes a difference to my riding position. Alright, so here is my current riding position. Elbows, elbows hit my knees all the time. And to lean off the bike, it's just, it's a lot, a lot of work. It's a lot of work on my tank, my right elbow hits the tank, then my left elbow hits the tank and I just can't stretch and it's just totally uncomfortable. so the mission is sort of half complete so I should have checked this beforehand but the offset of the bolts on the actual frame and the offset of the bolts that holds this like adapter are wrong so I removed the actual footrest from the adapter and tried to put them onto the frame but yeah they they won't fit so basically all I've done is just moved um, moved the footrest a bit more forward and it's slightly lower it's only very slightly lower 
so I just took the bike for a quick spin up the road um, and I can't really feel the difference just riding slowly around town it feels like I'm more forward which isn't exactly what I wanted but yeah I think I'm not really gonna be able to tell until I hit some twisties again so next job is these forks so I just priced everything up and it's not terrible to be honest the these like the outer outer like dust dust boots whatever you want to call them are about 2,000 yen the actual fork seal is about 3,000 yen which is no big deal and I found some nice fork oil from Motor X um, the standard weight in these is 5 weight and because I'm a big boy I thought I'd go up to 7.5 weight so I found some Motor X for 2,000 yen so that's not too bad the only bummer is um, there's some special tools that I need so these are 43 mil and I don't have a 43 mil um, seal driver so I'm going to need a seal driver which is about 5,000 yen and also in the top where the uh, spring is there's like a collar around the, around the spring quite a big collar and it's got two two holes either side of it that you sort of clamp a special tool into it and then you can pull the spring down you can, so it's basically a spring compressor and then you're able to take the top off because without that tool you can't do it and that is quite expensive not only is it expensive but amazon says it's going to be the middle of march for delivery so i've got to try and find a local supplier for one of those so fingers crossed i can find one in japan so yeah that's basically the jigs update for a while i'm probably not going to be making many videos now because i can't ride the bike so yeah i'll try and keep you guys entertained with some stupid shorts or whatever drone videos so i'm a bit sad that i can't ride my bike but hopefully it'll only be a few weeks <laughs> all right guys see you in the next video goodbye good night baby see you in a few weeks Mwah.